This tapestry was woven by a Flemish weaver or Flemish weavers in the late 16th century. But what makes it special is the completely different environment in which they were working, namely London. Many of the tapestry weavers working in Flanders found themselves victims of religious persecution and oppression. They're having to pack up, leaving Flanders literally with what they could carry. They're coming from these massive workshops which they had run, and they're having to start from scratch with maybe one or two looms. They're making tapestries which they hope will appeal to the local English clientele. It's really quite modest in scale. It's less than six feet high. It's only woven in wool and a little bit of silk thread. And it's got this very simple but very charming representation of a country scene. The weaver has incredible skill. The effect of the shrubbery surrounding the manor house, they're literally just dots and dashes of colour. Or these wonderful foliage details, the brambles, the foxgloves, the ox-eyed daisies, the green man against the cartouche. A popular cult figure in English folklore. He literally grows out of the foliage. And there are also pockets of narrative humour, details like the angler who's gesturing in annoyance at the hunter who's just fired his arquebus and disturbed the peace. The cartoon is made up of existing design sources. The hunters appear in English embroidery of this period. The manor house is based on a print showing King Solomon's temple. This tapestry is almost the antithesis of what one expects from a great 16th century weaving. We don't have a famous admired artist providing the cartoon. It's not of these incredible massive proportions. The materials are really quite modest. But it really captures one of those rare moments when the creators have met with a series of circumstances thrown at them by contemporary life and politics, and they've managed to surmount those and create something which is really exquisitely beautiful and quietly wonderful. <laughs>